Hey Star Wars Collectors, it's Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. And this time I have the Clone Trooper in Trading Fatigues, which I recently got at a flea market this weekend. You can check out my haul video from a couple days ago if you want to see the packaging. And I got him for $2.50. And that's all he's worth. Um, I was very reluctant about buying this figure. Oh, I didn't want to buy this figure after, you know, overall. But when I saw him for that price, I was like, why not? But he's not the best clone trooper, and I'll be telling you why. He looks cool, kind of, but I don't know. First of all, as you can see, and this is from the 30th anniversary collection, he doesn't stand up very well. <laughs> His legs are posed in a weird way where the boot, and I don't know if this is my figure or if it's bent or something, but I guess I could heat up, maybe bend this foot backwards I don't know but I'm not gonna do that you know it's just you know it's not even the feet aren't even it's no way you know it, it's a limp he's limp he's missing like I don't know what it is just not good not very good at all okay guess there'd be a way to fix it maybe it's just mine okay so anyways let's take this off all right um all the armor is removable, so that's kind of cool, but it just kind of doesn't really, I mean, stays, but it can easily fall off, so it's definitely not for playing. You've got to make sure that you apply it to the body the correct way and the right way, because if, you know, if you're, sli if you're slightly off by a millimeter, it'll fall right off. So, you know, I may end up displaying him without the armor, okay? All right. So all the armor is removable. So let me take that off. So you got your uh, arm guards, your shoulder pads. Okay. Uh, the shin guards and elk knee pads. Okay. The helmet is removable. And pop up the head. Take off the chest armor. Okay. All right. So, but they're nice. I mean, they're nicely detailed. Nice detailed pieces. They look good for the most part. You know, there's even some detail on the on the wrist guards. Um, there's a shoulder piece, and there's the chest plate. Looks good. Okay, and then the helmet. Standard clone trooper helmet. Okay. So the pieces look good, but they just don't stay very well on the figure. Okay. Alright. Now, the clone trooper actually looks kind of good without the armor. That's why I say I might display him without the, uh... Without the armor. Okay, we've got this emblem here, which I'm not quite sure what it means. It might mean clone trooper in training, but I'm not quite sure. You see them dress like this in, is it, I think it's Attack of the Clones. So, these are the training fatigues. And uh, it looks good. I like the two different shades of red. You know, you've got this belt going across. With the strings coming down. Um, the tunic looks good. Okay, it's all plastic, but it looks good. you got your legs, which... Don't seem even, which I don't really like at all. And this is straight now, my right here. But still, my, my clone trooper is limp. Okay. Head sculpt looks good. Doesn't look relatively small to the to the body, but looks good for the most part. And there's that emblem again. Okay. Uh, you got a working holster. And the standard DC. 15 Okay, and that fits good for the most part in his hand Or not mm -hmm. Nope uh, This is his trigger finger hand All right, so I guess it doesn't stay it off very well, but there you go Okay I actually like it better in the holster. All right. As far as articulation goes, it's not that great either. Um, 
you got your ball joint and head, your ball hinge, um, elbows, silver wrists, and swivel shoulders, not ball hinge. Shame, shame on Hasbro. Swivel hips, swivel uh, waist, I should say, swivel hips, ball hinge, um, I, uh, I can't remember. Ball hinged knees. There you go. And no articulation in the feet and the ankles. I just get tripped up on articulation. <laughs> so, you know, kind of sucks. <laughs> not not the best. So, do not recommend this figure very much. I think, um, you know, if you can get them loose for very, very cheap like I got them, yeah, pick them up. They'll look good displayed without the armor. But definitely not worth full price. Don't overpay for him. You know, skip them all together. As a clone trooper fan, as a clone trooper fan, fanatic, I'd say he's definitely one of my least favorite. So, you know, but for two fifty, definitely can add into my collection. All right, Star Wars collectors. Until next time, may the force be with you.